Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this question also how to configure using Arduino Uno. So, let's get started. For this project, you will need an Arduino Uno, a NRF24 as a one module with power amplification, the one with antenna, a NRF adapter, this provides 3.3 volt to the input of the NRF. I have also soldered some wires to connect it to the Arduino. Two toggle switches. This provides digital data to the receiver. You will also need two joysticks. This is a very professional joystick. It is used in professional transmitters. I have bought it for very cheap. I will be providing the links to buy it in my website. Make sure to check the links in the description below to go to my website for it. You will also need three light lithium ion batteries of 3.7 volts. I will make a battery pack with it of 11.1 volts. This is my 3D printed body for the transmitter. I will be providing the STL files for it in my website. You will also need some screws and some wires. And you will also need a BMS short the battery. I will show you how to do it. So first of all, I will add the toggle switches in place. This is how it should be. And I've secured it using the bolt. Now I will be adding the joysticks. This one is for the throttle, so I will add it to the left side of the transmitter body because I I am a right-handed person. You can anytime changes its place and then I will screw it so this is how our transmitter will look like now we have to make the electrical connections I will firstly start with the Arduino you know. I will connect the wires according to this circuit You will find this circuit in my website Make sure to check the description below for the links to go to my website for this diagram First of all, I will connect the NOF adapter to the Arduino according to the circuit just shown before this is how it should look like. I have not yet connected the VCC and the ground pin because I will make a common for the VCC and the ground. This is the PCB for the type I am using to connect all the VCCs pin together. I will show that all the VCCs pin on it and then connect it directly to the VCC pin of the audio which is the 5 volt I have done the same for the ground now I'm connecting the VCC of the Arduino the 5 volt to the common or common PCB prototype which will supply 5 volt for all the joysticks and NRF now I am connecting the analog pins of the joystick to the analog pins of the Arduino. I'm using the Enode A1, A2, A3 pins. Now I'm going to make the battery pack according to the diagram I have given in my website. Make sure to check my website for it. So this is how our battery pack will look like. I have the positive and negative terminal which will provide the 11.1 volt and this is the balancer this will we will use to charge the battery without damaging it using this bms 
I will show it in my website how to do it. Now I will connect this to the audio. First of all, I'm placing it to the back side of the transmitter. I will now add a switch to it before connecting to the audio so that we can switch on and switch off anytime. Now I'm going to connect the positive one after the switch to the VIN pin of the audio. This is where you can supply from 5 to 12 volt to the audio. You are supplying 11.1, so it's good. can see our circuit is working both the audio and the NRF adapter is working now I will add the NRF in the adapter now before doing anything else we need to program it I'm connecting my USB to it then I will provide I will program it this is my programming that I have done I will not explain it here you can check in my website for this programming make sure to check in the link below for it now we will upload the code to the audio I have already uploaded the code to the audio so i will now put the back side and the front side of the transmitter together to cover everything else for everything for this i am using tape to stick the battery to the back side of the of the transmitter body so that it does not mess up i will add the switch to this Board. This is actually used for a OLED display, which you can use to display the battery level at all. This, for now, I'm not doing it. I will do it in my future project. Now you have to screw this. I've used a M4 screw to screw this. This is how our also transmitter will look like you can see it's very professional now we have to test it to test it i am using my previously made transmitter using audio pro mini and the smd version of the nr if you have not checked the video yet make sure to check the video how to make this professional small transmitter I will provide the links in the description below. So this is the brush assist motor connected to an ESC and a 7.4 lithium polymer battery. All ESC have a BC, BEC which provides 5 volt output. So I will use this 5 volt this you can see the red and the brown wire provide a 5 volt output which i will use to connect to my receiver i have also also added two wires for us to check if the signal is being received so i will connect the positive and negative terminal of the receiver to the bec of the esc You can see it's lighting up so first of all i will use my oscilloscope to check if we are receiving the signal from the transmitter i'm connecting the ground to the ground and the positive to the digital pin free and you can see this is the pwm signal that we are receiving and we can vary it using our transmitter so our transmitter is working very well i have not 
tested it using the other joysticks. I have added only this joystick. This is the circuit for our receiver connected to the Russell DC module. Now I'm going to connect the signal wire of the Russell DC motor to the digital DC of the receiver and we'll test it it's working. So let's check it now. Okay, I'm testing it for the Tango Teacher and you can see it's working fine. I hope you guys like this video and you like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys.